Right, so um, if he's been following before, or I need to act as if I just know what's in the chat. Um, no mothers two years, there's me and Space Boy, but for this one, it's just going to be kept kind of short and hopefully just more like a tutorial rather than um, like a chat and just kind of random drawing. So, um, first one I'm going to do is how to draw a robot. Dead simple. Um, one of the easiest things about drawing robots is you can do anything you like. Um, it doesn't really matter what you look like. Um, it can be very, very basic. Just start off with some basic shapes. Exaggerate them. Make it make it as, as, as fun as possible. We'll start off with something dead simple. Make that's longer than it normally wouldn't be. And I'm going to talk just through this, even if there's not people there, just for the whole idea that I'm going to upload it to YouTube anyway. So it's going to be there and I'll have some sort of document for it. Um, I like to always turn my canvas around. I'm going to try and do that as little amount as possible. Generally, if I'm drawing a robot, I start with something like that. Um, I'm going to duplicate that and put it over there just so we can all see where it comes from. And then I'll just put that right down to a very low opacity. New layer again. This this one, this layer here, this one's just, just for the stream. It's not what I would normally do when drawing. And then I'm going to go in here and um, I'm going to draw a robot. Right, so I'll, I'll again, I'll just do the, the basic shapes first. Just a second, my pen seems to have lost a bit of latency in it there. Around doing the big shapes, that's all we're doing. Don't worry about anything else now. The good thing about digital art is you don't need to stick with anything. Try and make it as symmetrical as possible for me, no other reason other than that. Again, I mentioned this before, if you want something to have weight, if it works here, you just break the lines, oh, break the lines at the bottom, and it gives the, the whole thing weight. is the four arms. Don't know what's up with my pencil. Seem to have a bit of a mind of its own right now. And 
and the head I'll leave just now. So generally that's that's the shape. So I went for for this here on the left to sorry, this here on the right to this here on the left. Um what I do now is after I've got the basic shapes is I've got to go around and do a layer of detail. Um this is where I'll, I'll zoom in. I'll bring my I bring my bridge bridge size ugh, brush a size right down and I'll even tidy up lines. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one half and we'll, we'll see what the difference looks like. What you do is try and get yourself like a, a catalogue of robotic parts. So I, I tend to draw round things, like bits in them or even screws. End up just kind of building up a wee visual library of, of parts. <coughs> Another one, uh, one of my popular ones is the grill. Um, again, you can you can just even mix that same thing up just by putting in wee bars, and um, it's just like a wee air vent now. Or even with the circles, you can have it so that the the circles in the top. So all you're doing is steady. So you've got that circle instead drawing it on the inside, draw it around that end, and it's gonna just double up the amount of things that you can actually do. Um, so you, you'll find that I'll use these same shapes quite a lot on it. A lot of ones you use is something simple as, as a shape like that. Um, might not make sense there, but I'm going to use it here. I draw a lot of lines around things as well. Again, it's like a kidding yourself on your own detail. And when it's coming to like shapes like this, um, in joins, I, I like to do these wee kind of, I don't know, like stress lines and then maybe like a wee bit. And I like to give these shape by drawing these kind of uh, rough round lines. So now instead of being flat, it's it's kind of round. Oh, I wasn't there. Uh, sorry guys, I didn't realise anybody was in there. Um, how you doing? Um, hopefully people can hear me, because usually I've got somebody telling me in my headsets that you can hear what's happening. Um, but I don't have that, so I'm just... I'm, I'm just explaining how I don't actually have it. <laughs> How you doing anyway? Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, so that's going to be a wee bit more reserved, less less nonsense, more actual drawing. So once we get to the arm here, I'm going to be using these V shapes I showed you up here, and turn this, give this some kind of three D space. The reason I need to uh, stream at night time is because my kids, but they've been struggling to go to bed tonight, so you might be able to hear one of them. Hopefully it's not too much bother. I don't know what's happening with my pencil. It's playing up the night. And then, again, to give kind of more shape to it, I draw these lines and then I'll Draw like a wee downward line and then start it again next to it. Another one. So then that's given that, it's given it as if it's more like a 3D, that's a lip. So if you were shading, it would be like, it would be darker in there. All in chat, how are you doing? And I'd usually do that all the way up and then maybe a wee line get off. And again, these lines, I'm just kind of shape them into the, the shape of the arm. What you're realising is you don't need many many tools or many you don't need many different uh, shapes to create something like this arm here has got so much more detail in it now and, and I've not even used them and it looks good which generally looks as if it's going to be quite a rubbish looking robot 
Um, once we come to the, the bottom hand, I like to give him like a like a knuckle plate. I don't know who has knuckle plates. I've never had one of them. Ninjas have got them. <laughs> and again, same shapes. Maybe on that one, because the way the arms go, and they would go down the way. And again, once we come down here, a wee trick for the hands, I've mentioned this quite often, is when I'm, when I'm drawing something like this, it's not a, a big piece, like a full background or what's going on. If it's just a character standing, I won't I won't spend loads of time in hands, so I just draw like a clenched fist. So that'll be, I was going to try and see the names of the fingers, but I don't even know them. Um, so that'll be the finger, the thumb. That's it, so... It's just a clenched fist, dead easy. That's as if the fist is. <laughs> it's not as easy to do as you think. But that, yeah, you get the idea. As you can tell, I'm not a teacher, but uh, it works. When you zoom out, it looks nice. There's another wee. Another thump hand to do is if you just draw the, the fingers individually and then you can do them curling behind. That's another kind of very basic but effective hand as well. What you'll notice if if you if you follow me on social media, you'll see me doing these a lot. Um, it's just for quickness. Sometimes I like to just get something down, an idea down. You don't want to be. I say if I'm doing a bigger piece, I like to have a wee bit more dynamics in my hands and stuff. But I usually won't worry about it too much. tidying up some lines. I also don't worry about things joining, like here. It, sometimes I'll maybe draw, whoops, sometimes I'll maybe draw joining parts. Uh, sometimes I'll leave it. I think I'll just leave it. It doesn't it doesn't make any difference. It's just total preference when it comes to that. I mean, it's not going to work as a robot anyway. Um, so, now that I've got kind of the basic details in the hand, another wee details you can get down with even smaller details as two arrows pointing away from each other and another one you can do is two arrows pointing into each other fake text well I say it's text it might not be text but I, I kid on it's text so you can imagine that to be some writing or like a wee a sticker and I say that would have writing on it, and maybe a wee, a wee skull, which it just adds more as well. So, and then to add contrast, I like to just do some maybe random shapes up the side, depending on the whole style of the robot. They, they could vary from quite small like that, or up to, to bigger ones as well. I usually like to do bits like that as well, round, round a bit where things join, like I've done that here. Add them in. And that's not a trick is drawing line drawing things. This is one of my favourite things to do to make things look more detailed. Draw line drawing it. Them, that's just them. And there we've got our right arm of a robot. Bet you're all glad you tuned in because th this is a uh, quality stuff you're seeing here. Lines, I draw lines down the middle to show where the, the middle of the thumb is, or the finger. So that line's running down, like right down the middle of it. Sometimes I do that with like, things like legs, like if this was the front of the leg, I'll draw that right up. Oops. And if you do that on this leg, right, I'll show you two different legs, if you do it on the leg and then draw the lines, see I was drawing curved ones. If you draw it up and then down, and then on this one here we'll draw them that way. You can see by simply just adding a line and doing the curves different, you've got two totally different shapes of legs. So this one's round and this one's got like a, a 
point, almost like a, a pyramid in the front. Um, it's dead simple wee tricks you learn. If you're doing that one though, you need to think now that this one could still be the front, that could be the front right down there. Whereas on this one, that's the front, so there might be like a wee, a wee hole here, or magic to hold that on. A messy line. Oops. Same with the knee pad, get that down. And I normally do it with these as well, down the front, give them some uh, Adidas. And to show the front of the foot as well, a wee line down there. And the same with this is draw some black shapes just for some contrast and on the leg I don't do as much details on the legs I tend to find that uh, they're not the most interesting part of a character ever anyway uh, I'll, still, I'll usually kind of keep the, the, the details minimal oh that's a new one isn't it? I've not done that so if you've got a line just draw another bunch of wee lines off it as well and then See these over here? This, this, this is this is mind blowing stuff here. Triangles. Draw a line. I'll draw a wee box. Put a triangle on it. I mean, look at look at all these details you're finding here. Um. By the way, I just let know. Can can you guys hear me? Can somebody just give me like a wee thumbs up or what? Because I've been talking loads. And I do hope that people can hear it. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> I'm starting to think that I was just talking myself there. Cheers. I, I just waved at the screen. You can't see that. I'm still getting the hang of this whole um, live chat thing, especially my own. I just, I just waved at you. <laughs> so, uh, thanks a lot, all my brains. Um, so, that's an arm and a leg. I see this. So, this is, this is where we started. This was the the kind of basic lines and then this is where I got to. So a lot of people always say to me about my, my line width, it's I think one of the reasons is about I start, if you weren't here earlier, when I've done the main lines I usually have my pen about double the percentage as my details. I, I don't have any kind of fixed percentage for the beat, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day or especially because I'm, I'm drawing this kind of small, normally I would draw vertical page but for the whole purpose of streaming it just works better to do it this way. Um, so now we'll work on we'll work on just this wee bit here. So kind of abdomen bit or hips. I don't know what it'd be in a robot. It will be kind of hips slash abdomen. Um, I don't really do much here either. If I can get this line straight. I think that line's wonky, that's the problem, isn't it? Uh, I have maybe just do a couple of wee, wee bits like that, and that's it. I'm going to show you a pen I've got. Um, the bit, they're dead simple to do. Tell me, you could, you could follow this and, and you can all draw robots. They're the most fun things to draw. If you can't be bothered drawing anything, you just draw some random shapes and put some details in them. You just can kind of... I think I see a lot of people doing the kind of doodle scribbles. Let's see when people draw the wee, oh, like the kind of doodles, and they, they have all the wee guys all stacked on top of each other, and they'll have a wee birthday cake and all that kind of stuff. I kind of feel as if these are similar to that, that you, you, nobody can tell you your robot wrong. So you can just draw it any way you want. And see, so I think the perfect example of that is look, here's a robot, so there's, there's his head. That's a robot's head, or you can go the whole. That's a robot's head. I mean, it's, it's just. Oops, I just looked at something that I should have. Or you can even do. I mean, there's there's no way that it's not it's not wrong. They're all right. That's the funny it. Have it just fun. I'm getting too excited there about how fun it is, isn't it? Right. So we're we'll going to the chest area now. Uh, and I say I'm I'm not I've not planned any of this. I'm just kind of drawing shapes here now. And kind of just take it for 
just do it as we go along, just enjoy it. That's all it is really. Uh, oh, here's another wee, wee, wee vents, wee kind of air vents. I always do a bunch of these together. You leave a gap open, and if you leave that side open, it looks as if it looks as if you can kind of see in them. So you'd be able to see into that part. Which, if you're going to colour it, it's good to add in like a wee nice neon effect. It was a cat. It wasn't Batman. <laughs> I don't draw any fan art. I do draw fan art all the time. Anyway, see, I'm going to. I've not structured this in any way, so we'll jump backwards and forwards. See if you want to watch, add even more details. Just go back to these bits and see the the, the stuff I was telling you. Arrows and text. It just it just fills out even more things. So you can use, so what else in fact, we've got arrows, that was another one. Uh, and text, that's text. And so you can mix all these together. So like even for talking sake, you take that one, you get a big circle, a big nut. And then you can have text on it, and then a wee arrow there, and a wee arrow there, and it adds so much detail. without having a massive library of detail. Um, I think we'll give him a head now. I did, li I did like the... This is one of the times that normally I like my lines to be kind of messy, but I did hold that in so that Procreate uh, made it a nice even circle. We still with the depth of lines. Maybe give him as if he's in a wee bubble. By the way, something, I don't know if it's because Because I'm, I'm, I'm casting it or not, but my pen keeps going all funny. Keep getting me wobbly lines. Um, if this is a bubble, a glass bubble, that's the way I'm kind of thinking of it, I would break this line in here more than I would normally break a line to kind of give the idea that it's inside glass. And you can't go wrong with round eyes and a straight mouth. Can't tell me that's one of the best faces you've seen drawn all day today. Oh, I've got to that point again, I but I can't figure out. I've not got headphones on, so see if people are following me and stuff. I can't hear it, so I apologise if I don't. Uh, I see Sam's followed us. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to see if we can bring in the parts that I showed you. So if we're going to have some of these, like the way these are drawn, you couldn't have them in the middle because that, that wouldn't make sense. If you're looking at that character straight on, they wouldn't look right. So for them to run that way or for that them to work, you would have to just throw them over here. See, I didn't even pick a, a place where they were going or anything. I just, I just decided to just put them randomly in. Kind of try and split it up even. See when I first done these, when I first started doing these kind of wee chevron things or wee vents, I used to do loads of them. But I found the uh, just with my art style anyway, I found the big kind of blocky ones seem to work better for me. If I can uh, get that spacing right, or under pressure. And then again, lines, you draw a wee line along the bottom. What that wee line does is, again, it makes it more 3D, it gives it like a, almost a flat surface. And then if you want to add a wee line down the middle of it, but then see where that line stops, draw it straight down, find the same place in these ones, and then draw that line back. And then by doing that, you've just created depth. Um, I've only been doing it, I think, um, this is this is the first time I've streamed myself. Um, normally it's me and William Spaceboy that do a, a stream on a Saturday night at 9 o'clock. Um, it's, it's pretty good, I, I like it. It's definitely a, a lot um, less stressful than what I'm doing right now. Definitely, I, I enjoy that person to fall back on and he, he fix my drawings. But if, if you're not, you should definitely tune in, it's good. Um, I did upload all of them onto YouTube, but they're about three hours long. I don't know how much I'm maybe going to watch that. 
they, 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 they can be quite interesting. There's something to have on the background if you're drawing yourself. Um, on YouTube, it's uh, created by Emery as well, so you should be able to find that there. And let's see here. So, again, back to that whole just draw lines around things and see. I told you about these wee shapes. They wee just kind of the. What is a shape that does that? I don't know, right? I have no idea. So, see, even drawing them without drawing them on the line. And then again. You're just, you're just, you're not using many things, but having so many options. And then in the middle here, uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to put in the middle because of how I've drew it. A wee bit of text in this bottom corner, some uh, PlayStation symbols, and then I'm going to show a trick I do a different layer, right? And then in my pens, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm not. I'm not saying this to advertise my Patreon, right? But all all my brushes that I use, I make available on my Patreon to some extent. So this is just a wee chevron one, and it saves so much hassle. So as long as it's on a different layer, you don't need to be too. You can you can pick it up, and put it back down. It'll always draw in the same place unless you zoom in or uh, unless you zoom in or turn the page around. So it'll always be fine. Just deliberately being messy because it just makes it easier. I, I could have been tidier, but I'm not going to be. Because um, then you can just come back in and just rub it out. What I would normally do first, in fact, is I would take the opacity down. So you can see where you're rubbing it out. Maybe I shouldn't have made it as messy. And then you've got some some chevrons on a robot. It's too much. Maybe just have ones. That looks all right. And then again, I like to always have multiple layers. There's nothing worse than doing something and then realizing you've drawn over what you've got and you don't like it. So the advantages of digital is having multiple layers. I see. I know. I know the screen quality on this wee screen up the top right is not very good, right, with the brightness. But I feel as if it's good for me to point at stuff, and you'll still get it. So that's why I've left it up there. Um, but anyway, so I put it on a different layer. And what what I like to do now is add things on, roughly. Um, so like, oops. Let's change it back to a, a normal pen. So back to my my line work pen. These add, I like adding these on. Okay, nah. I was about to say what these are called as well, but I'm realising that most of the things I draw, I don't actually know what they're called. So what I would do now is take the opacity of that layer down, go in here, rub it out, try to rub it out, but draw more lines in. Put the opacity back up and then merge the two lines. And there we go, we've got extra wee details without uh, having to mess about with. And then same again, that round, so let's draw some round lines on it to give it that kind of shape. Let me do that. And to make things look mechanical as well, um, another one is drawing even thinner lines we angled off on them so it's more or less just kind of bigger versions of these V ones we used earlier on and then 
I, I don't really worry about them being symmetrical or anything. I kind of like the idea of them not being. Even broken lines as well. If you make them broken, it makes it look as if they're even thinner. Uh, so that ends up pretty good. And what are we sitting at here? I'm trying to. Th I'm, I'm, I'm unsure about how how long you go into this. I don't know if I should do the whole robot or leave one half so you can see it. What do you think? Should I finish it or should I just leave it the way it is? Can I keep it to a small 30 minute kind of quick stream for people to hopefully pick up some tips? I've got these wee things in fact. There's a uh, eyes. Every, every, every set of eyes has got these. In the world, everybody's got them. See, look at how much more happy it is. I don't know what they are. Again, you'll find me saying that quite often. I don't know what that is, but I just like to draw things that I like the look of. And that's the way it should be, in it? I'm guessing there's people that does stuff right. <laughs> See, this, this is the thing where I, I bit like the... Like the doodle images as well is, or even if you have caught me and Space Boy doing the streams on uh, the Saturdays, with this kind of art, you could just keep finding yourself going round and round, drawing more and more, just add more details. Oops. Another one, this is this is an old Game Boy trick, so just draw the line straight down, round, down, there you go, text in there. It's a Game Boy, a Game Boy screen. So that's one half, other half undone. I think it's turned out pretty good. Alright, thanks a lot man, thanks for joining, cheers. Um, and then once I get to this point where I feel as if it's done, I draw wee, wee bits at the joints as well. All of the joints. Sometimes I'll do it where, where joints aren't. Um, and then you give them a hat, because who doesn't wear hats? And then you get that horrible uh, procreate thing where it, where it leaves you wee marks. Result. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to finish it. I feel as if I should finish it. It seems strange that I'm not finishing it now. Uh, so what about these lines? Are they, are they in the same layer? Rub these lines out and we'll finish this wee robot so that I can say that's the end. It feels as if it's kind of half done. So we'll do that the same way. Um, the good thing is I, I like to have that kind of asymmetric look. I like having one of these there but not there. I'll maybe do that with other parts as well. Or maybe some of you were expecting me to, to finish there and then they just think, no, what are you doing? Don't want to see any more drawing, Craig. Just, just stop there. 30 minutes is enough. Can't stop now though it's happening. That's it. Oh. Sometimes these wee broken lines happen by accident. I like to draw them round it. Again, adds more details. Uh, some wee arrows. Some inward arrows. See it all happening now. Uh, some circles. So that's the back there, right? So let's see his foot. So I've just drawn the foot, just kind of stuck on the end here. See if you just draw a wee line coming up above it and then hooking it round and then colour inside slightly down a wee bit, it gives it a, a, as if it's inside the foot, if that makes sense. And then curl that top line out 
and then draw a straight line up and it creates like a wee, a wee lip from, from in here, sorry. So it creates it as if there's like some space in there. No, I did this shoot that way. And in fact, the same with the arm, just to add a wee bit of contrast, you would just draw a wee kind of shape joint about it. I didn't even do there as well, these kind of places. And maybe it's buttons, I don't know, exhaust pipes. So because this is the left side of the robot, the broken line would be on the right side, as if you're looking. So they kind of imagine you're looking that way. So everything should, oh, how would I explain that? So everything should go inside, but so everything on the right will go into the left and everything on the left will go into the right. I hope that's, that must just sound like nonsense. I apologise, I must have write that down so I can explain it better next time. But you, you, you'll just notice, because see if I had to draw that. If you draw that like that, it, it looks wrong. It can't. It, it, it messes with your eyes. I don't worry about them uh, being the same either. That doesn't bother me. Um, I also don't worry about my characters being the same when I draw them. Same thing as continuity is overrated. I'll do that hand the, the way I say is kind of open hand. So that'll be your first finger. Um, I, I tend to only ever use a four fingered or three fingers and a thumb hand. I don't ever really use the, the, the right amount. Maybe just because it's a, a bit easier, I guess, isn't it? Aye, the pencil's going a bit nuts. I don't know if it's a streaming. Some of the events in here. And some, some bits. You can't forget these. Some bits and some contrast. Tell you, by the way, you'll be surprised how much they can add to a drawing. But if everybody starts drawing bits, then it's going to be a bit strange, isn't it? If we go on Instagram, we'll all get robots that look exactly the same. You can add your own, your own flair. Maybe you might have something else. Maybe you could just draw random wee smiley faces. I think that might work too. <laughs> and there you've got it, a robot. But, as I say, you can just keep adding. So has he got a backpack on? Does that backpack have wings? So they would come down here. So pet hate of mine is lines joining. See if you draw the wings and they join there. That's that's horrible. You don't want that. So you need to make sure however you draw them, they don't kinda cross into another or they don't join at a section of two other lines. What is going on? I'm not going to be able to draw that line again, I'm not. Because they're in the background, normally I would just do them black as well, or even if I could get it right. Hi, 
I, if I'm doing things in the background, I tend to just kind of do them black. I said I'll just add like a an overall character shape, um, and then if you've got to this point, you can add in something on his shoulder or something kind of backpack thing. Just trying to think where that would follow the lines down there. Um, if you want, you can just call that in black, or you can you can turn this into one of these shapes over here that we used. Yeah, let's use this one. Eh? Let's get some sort of vent on him. I never have a cosy lines, but I always draw smaller lines around it. Be back on it. And there we go, a robot. So, how to draw a robot in. I know it does tell me how long the stream's been somewhere, but I can't find it. 41 minutes. So, we went for this to this. It's not bad. Um, a wee bit of cheating with the, the kind of the chevron lines, but that's fine. So, I, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm going to kind of just wrap this one up. This one's just going to be kind of small. Just kind of smaller bits next week. Um, off. Let's just make sure we don't. We're going to kind of give away all kind of secrets here. This is all the stuff that I've been working on. Like I've got, I've got loads of stuff, and that's just one folder. This is uh, corners it. I've got these. Um, these this can be like a sneak peek. Not even in that one. I've been doing a kind of lot of. I like messing about with, I was say I like messing about with skulls, but not, not real skulls. I'm trying to see whether. Any ID signs? I was kind of doing. Just kind of messing about with more or less effects in, in Procreate rather than actual drawing. Just kind of try to create depth and stuff. I think that looks pretty cool. I like this one. It's the first time seeing them. I've not shared any of that stuff. Um, but what was I going to do there? I shouldn't have just clicked on stuff because I've actually forgot where I was going. We were in here looking at that. Oh aye, right. So I thought maybe next week um, we could do a wee tutorial on how to get this kind of effect. The kind of paper cutout thing. If that seems like the thing you maybe want to see. Um, just kind of learnt that's going. I really like that. I've got something planned with that. I mean, space boy, I've got something planned for that as well. And I think that'd be a cool one to do a wee tutorial on that. I, I want to kind of stay away from column because I feel as if column takes ages and nothing really happens. Just a lot of nothing. These here, these wee ones, I think I'm going to try and make canvases out of them. Um, but aye, there we go, how to draw a robot in 40 minutes. Um, I'd really appreciate everybody for coming along and joining in. If you've got any questions or whatever, I'll, I'll post this up on my Instagram. You can fire any questions in there. And um, I say thanks a lot, guys. I hope to see you on Saturday at 9pm. Um, I'll need to figure out how that works now because the clock's went forward, but I'll, I'll have a countdown timer on my Instagram. Um, so again, aye, thanks a lot guys, I'll catch you later, bye bye.